Yo, what's up everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about charging. If you're like me and you've got a bunch of XT30 batteries and you wanna charge them all at once, you can use a parallel charging board. So this is, this is the way I've been doing it. I just have a kind of a standard 2S to 6S XT60 balance board here. And I got some XT30, XT60 adapters. And this has been working out okay. Um, I do have a couple of problems with this setup. So number one, when I have batteries that have kind of short balance leads, like this, because you're adding a lot of height here with this adapter, when you go to plug this into the board, you'll find that uh, the balance lead doesn't really reach anymore. So I had use I was using like extensions for this and you know it's too much extra stuff to hook up. Recently there's been some XT30 balance boards that have come on the market and uh, I just received one that I had ordered a couple weeks ago from Mega. Let's ditch this thing for now. We'll check this one out. All right, so it comes with a 3S balance plug. And here we go. So first thing, this is a lot smaller, which is cool. I mean, <laughs> it's like half the size, basically. I, you know, a few of these had come out and um, I was kind of waiting for one that had some kind of at least plastic kind of protective housing on the bottom. There were some ones that just had like a piece of rubber. So the other thing that's cool about this is it does seem to have a fuse or each of the XT30 connections is fused. They're probably soldered in. Not the simplest thing in the world to change, but fuses are good. So kind of a, I guess, before we get into talking about this, if you've never parallel charged before, go out and look around on YouTube. There's some great videos that kind of explain what parallel charging is all about. I'm not going to get too, too in depth about that because there's, there's people who know more about this out there that you can watch and probably get some better information. So before you consider doing any kind of parallel charging, definitely do some research and watch some people who really, really understand this. Kind of the key things here are gonna be that the batteries that you're gonna parallel charge need to be kind of close in, in voltage. So you definitely need to check them. And I just use a cheap little buzzer voltage checker for that. And it's not super accurate, doesn't really matter because really what I'm checking to see is if the batteries are about the same voltage. What happens when you plug into these these parallel boards, once you plug one of the leads in, the whole kind of rail is hot. So as you add batteries to it, you're basically connecting the batteries together like this. And um, I think that's right. And if there's a big difference in voltage between these, these two batteries or any batteries that you plug into this board, the voltage is gonna try to regulate and you could have a lot of current going through the board and through the battery wire. So if the voltage is too different, you could have a problem. So that's kind of the number one thing you wanna watch out for. So definitely check and recheck your batteries before you plug them into the board. Banana cable plug right into your stand, kind of standard four button charger there. We're gonna plug this in and see if it works. Hopefully it's wired correctly and doesn't immediately smoke the first two batteries I put in, but we'll get our little balance plug connected here. All right, now we're kind of all set. I connect the the main plugs first because I figure if they're I have a, some people have said that you know if you plug your mains in first, as the current kind of regulates or the voltage regulates between the batteries that are on here, at least you've got the thicker you know, discharge lead wire. Then the balance wire might hold up to that a little better. So that sounds makes sense to me. So let's plug one in here, and that's basically the equivalent of just hooking your battery you know up to your charger as you would before. Now here's where it gets hairy as we start to plug multiple batteries in. So I'll be charging two S batteries right now. Never ever plug batteries of different cell counts into this board. So if you're doing 2S, it's gotta all be 2S. Can't mix like 2S and 3S. So this board will do 1S, 2S, and 3S. I'm a little bit, uh, well, we'll get to the 1S part later. I have some, some questions about that in my head, but let's plug a second battery in here and hopefully nothing blows up. All right, seems okay. And we'll just go ahead and plug the balance leads in as well to make sure. I think it's wired wrong in this thing. Okay. 
Got six of these, so we're gonna hook up all six right now. Be really careful when you plug your balance leads in. You can accidentally have this in upside down and it will kind of make contact if you push it in and you'll, you'll smoke something. So be careful, especially with the balance lead. Okay, so far so good. Now I typically do this at 1C. Probably should do this at 1C, especially when parallel charging. Six times 450 is 2700. So we're gonna set our charger to balance charge and uh, 2.7 amps or 2700 milliamps. It's charging at 1C. And we're set to 2S, which is what these batteries are. So we should be good to start charging here. Let's. Let's see what happens. And there we go, we're charging. So that's that's basically parallel charging in a nutshell. Like I said, um don't don't try this uh until you do some research on what the kind of pitfalls are. There's definitely, definitely more risk involved than single charging your batteries. So as far as this balance board goes, that's it works and uh, I like that there's individual fuses and I like the size and now when I want to deal with these batteries I have with the really short cables I can things will actually reach and it takes up less space on the bench so that's that's cool I want to try out we're gonna go ahead and stop here I want to try to see what's up with the 1s charging because I'm not a hundred percent sure we'll see if it works I want to see if it works I'm curious so I've got a couple of one, 1S batteries here. Let's check the voltage on these guys. Good. That into that. So it does see voltage, 3.93 volts. Let's set this to uh, light bulb high voltage, which is what these batteries happen to be. And Two. We'll do one amp or half an amp, and they are one S. Which now we have to charge first. Yeah. So this is the part that I was confused about. I have parallel charged one S batteries this way, and the only connection you have is the the main leads. If these 1S balance leads are connected to the balance circuit on the board, then the main wires like aren't connected to that. So how are you supposed to charge 1S batteries on here? I, I, I don't know what I'm missing guys. So let me know if, if somebody understands what's going on here. And typically balance boards don't have 1S ports. So if the way these things are coming in, it, looks like these 1S ports are wired into the um, balance circuit. They're not attached here. So am I, am I supposed to make something that bridges the XT30 to the, uh, I don't want to be doing, I don't know if that's right, but that's the only thing I can think of. Um, because ultimately, yeah, I, how do you, I don't know. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments below if you understand how I'm supposed to charge 1S with this thing. It doesn't really matter to me. I didn't really get it for that, but it's just curious that if they, you know, one to 3S battery charger board. So how do you get juice from the XT30 connectors if you're just plugging in your little 1S batteries? I, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, the, uh, here's the thing. So we can, we can look at it this way as well. Battery meter. We'll just disconnect the balance plug and plug batteries in here and see if we get anything. And we don't. If I did the same thing with this guy, and I know this works because I've you know, charged with this thing before, you'll see I get volts here. I don't know. If you know what's up with that, figure that out. I, like, I didn't really get this for one S batteries. So, you know, just to shame, like you don't even need these ports on here if that's the case, like I don't really understand. It's a one S battery, it's not gonna have a. This is 7.99, I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna get this for charging up your XC30 batteries. I basically paid, this thing was as much as the set of adapters cost me for the other balance board. So I kind of wish this had been around when I started doing this. 
but I I recommend this on you know for charging your 2s and 3s XT30 batteries. If you're looking to use this for 1s, I I don't know how that works. It doesn't work, which I'm kind of not surprised by that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.